Alrighty, I haven't done a video for a while, so I just wanted to show you this project that I took on. Now, this bath had marine paint painted over it, and underneath it, it had a Rust-Oleum paint kit. And I said, I'm going to use this Extapo kit. It was about $169. I got it off Amazon. It's an epoxy kit, and I said, oh, it won't be hard to prep the bath. Little did I know, I got into kind of a Pandora's box with the situation. But the prep is so important because you don't want to spend the time on this tub without prepping it properly because that's where a lot of fails are. And if you get the Extapo Epoxy, they have a lot of videos that the company put out on how to do it. So what you do is you remove the overflow drain I just put a cloth behind this because I still need to put the paint stripper. Now this paint stripper that I got, it doesn't have a strong smell, but it was eating through the gloves. So I put on a double layer of gloves and as soon as it ate through the first layer, I switched them out. And then I got these multi-purpose gloves. More, they're like a lot more thick. So it shouldn't rip through it because as you see the whiter part, that was the Rust-Oleum coating. And I also have to take out like all the, um, the caulking too on the side and on the bottom. And it's important not to get the paint stripper down in the drain. So you can't rinse it off. You have to kind of wipe it off. It's, it's pretty messy, it's pretty involved. But if you get it down the drain, it can corrode your pipes, especially because I have older pipes. So I wanted to do a video on prepping for this. It took a few hours and was back staking work. Um, then I will show you how I've prepped it. They say to put either frog tape or masking tape around here in one strip and along the bottom and everything so once I do that I'll make another video but um, if I had known that this undertaking would be so difficult I probably would have given it more thought but now I'm into it and I've watched about six or eight extapo videos and um, just on the procedure now I won't be able to film the procedure because I'd have to have a stand and um, I'm not that quite professional of a YouTuber. But uh, another thing important is that when you do this epoxy, put like a glove around this drain because you don't want the water dripping. It's gonna ruin your whole project. And it's very, very important to take this drain cover off and they put masking tape around it and also a solo cup, which I have, and plumber's putty. So when I get to that part, I will take another video. Right now, I just have to put more of this paint stripper on, get it all cleaned up, and then they say to etch the surface with this, the Lysol toilet cleaner, because then the, the product can go through. And also, everything needs to be dry, Make sure there's no water and put your temperature of the house from 71 to 75 degrees and mix this Extapo for 10 minutes straight. You have to mix it for the sides, the bottom, everything well mixed because people have, if they don't mix it properly, it's not going to dry because there's the hardener. And do not at any cost let this go down your drain. So. We are still in the beginning. I'm still quite nervous to do this, but I thought I'd make a video update because as I said, it's been a while. So don't skimp on prepping and don't skimp on researching because you want this done once and done right. And please take your drain and overflow out because if you don't, it can ruin it as well. Because if you need to change out the drain and it's bubbling up and it's, not settling down because you have those things in again you would have wasted your money and ruined your project so that's it for now part one stay tuned for more please like and subscribe thank you